Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, or Niramas, and it's time to play some Game of Thrones. The board game, but I'm going to play the board game on Steam. It just released yesterday, and now the uh, Game of Thrones, the board game, is on Steam. And this is a game that used to be a real favorite for me, like five years ago or so. I played this a bunch with friends and had a lot of fun with it, but, you know, I haven't really played it since then because... It does take a long time, and it's also one of those games where you can sort of be eliminated without being eliminated, which is, you know, I don't really like that usually in games, because you can... If it, if it turns out bad for you early on in the game, then it can be really hard to come back and so on. But, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to play it like this, uh, both for the... I hope you can play against AI, I assume so. And also, I look forward to playing this with friends, because, I, I mean, everything is quicker when you play it. In a digital version, right? Hey Bjorn, I hope the sound is okay. Uh, always the same issue when I stream digital games is that like the balance between my voice and the sounds in the game might not be the best. Haven't played this at all. I'm going to try it out. As the title implies, I am going to try it out in the live stream and I hope you will just join me in the... Uh, tell me in the live chat if you have any questions or, or um, you know... Tell me how you're doing, um, what you're doing today. I guess uh, it's a bit early here in Sweden, but I, I was planning to do it later on tonight, but I, then I just remembered that I have a you know, meeting <laughs> later on tonight. I'm going to try a new game with board and dice. I'm going to play it on Tabletopia with them, try it out. That's going to be really fun. I uh, like board and dice. That's going to be interesting. But now, so I'm not going to do the tutorial. Might Maybe I should, but I, I know the game very well. Challenges? I don't know what challenges is. Seems there's a bunch of different challenges uh, that I could do. But I kind of want to do a skirmish. I kind of want to do a, like a... Yeah, this would be a normal game, right? So, uh, this is the AI, I assume. Oh, there's vassals. I don't know how that works. Uh, they added vassals with the Mother of Dragon expansion, but I actually never played that one. So let's do I don't know. Let's let's have it it's medium. Yeah, let's just do medium AIs. And unpro no. Um choose a house. So we can do choose a house or we can do a random one. Let's let's just do a random one. This could be fun. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea how hard this will be. I have no idea how long it will take. <laughs> I I have 90 minutes basically before I need to go to my Tabletopia meeting. But I guess that should be okay. Right, so. Wow. Okay, so we are. Oh. I <laughs> I think we got like the worst the worst faction in the game. Must say that it looks really nice. Oh, you can zoom. Oh, you can zoom out like this. Oh, I like that. It's like a root, so we can have like a map like this, or we can zoom in. Actually, really close. Here we have the units, and yeah, and hover over. See the strength. You see the port. So on. I mean, Greyjoy. From what I remember, Greyjoy is have a really tough time being stuck between the Starks and the Lannisters. We'll see how this goes. Have some ships here. Start with two ships, and they look really nice actually. And I have a knight and a footman. And a footman over there as well. Okay. So we need to get to seven castles, basically. And I have one so far. And I have five power, so you can use power to vote for things and so on later on, and just keep control over areas. Uh, we have two supply, supply limits. And... If I click this... Okay, so here I can see my... My stats. My position on the Iron Throne. And I start with the Fiefdom, so I do have the sword there. Uh, the Valyria Steel Blade, add one strength, in combat one, yeah. Um, 
Now we have the star, so... That's how many star cards I can play, basically. And I have my deck of cards. And... Okay. So, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just gonna start playing. Okay, so I have... Let's see here. How would I do this? I guess I can give orders. This is the planning phase, of course. If I click this... Okay, so here I have my orders. Like this footman here. I think... I think I will move him. And we'll do march order. Now I don't have any stars, so I can't do like any of these. I'll give him a march march order and I for Pike I also will do a march order, I think. I think so. This ship here. Um I don't think I'm going to be fighting, but I can give it a support anyway. And this ship, I'm thinking I'll just give... Because it's in the port, I think I can so consolidate power. If I remember, yeah. It's um, on land or in a port, yeah. So I can do that to get some more power. And uh, that should be it, right? Oh, we have one more. Yeah, okay. So that should be it. And confirm orders. Okay. So everybody's revealing their orders. That's kind of cool. They zoom it out like that or like roll through that. I hope the sound is okay, by the way. For me, the, the music is fairly low and the sound, but I hope it's the same for you. I am doing these up and downs on my uh, equalizers since I'm like recording werewolf games and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have to go back and forth on that. So let me know if the sound is not okay. Also, by the way, I think I should do this. Just realized. Yeah, I need to move my my logo because it's in the way. So let's move it down there. Also, I was a mess with that. Yes, I don't have to have it there, but it looks cool. All right. So now I choose choose a march order because we do the orders in a certain order. <laughs> we do do the different order tokens in a certain order. So first we have the marching which means everybody has been watching and we can also see what they are going to do so like the Starks move this footman in here so I was planning to go to Mount Kaling but this footman has a minus one on him so now I kind of don't want to go there so do I want to take Seaguard instead I think I will but I don't want to do it first because like I don't want to leave this place right now so I'm gonna take these guys and I'm gonna take the that one move it in there sound effects as well for the horse uh, confirm no 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 wait 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 I wanted to move the other guy as well oh Okay, <laughs> so uh, I thought I just confirmed for one, but I actually ended that phase. And House Tyrell attacked Baratheon and they won. Okay. Yeah, so I'm learning as I go here. So the Baratheon um, routed over there. Lannisters take Harrenhal. Oh yeah, 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 you do them one at a time. Stupid, of course. You do them one at a time. So now I get to do my other march order. You do them like it goes back and forth between the players. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to take the knight here. Like you can do them in chains. So the knight started out here, but he moved here with the one march order. Now I can move with the second. So let's see, can I mark? Okay, there we go. So I am going to attack Mount Kaelin. But uh, I kind of want to leave. Uh, maybe I don't care about Greywater March. But I kind of want to leave a power token. Maybe I get the choice to do that later on. We'll see. So let's confirm this. Yeah, here we go. Do you want to spend a power token to keep control? Yes. Okay, I want to keep the control of that. 
just in case. And here we go with the combat. So I have two in strength. I actually have three, but I have a minus one. That was kind of stupid. I should have had a plus zero uh, movement on March. And I'm starting to think that my chat might not be working here on my phone because I do use my phone to watch the chat. I don't know. Okay. So tell me in the live chat if there's any issues with the stream. Otherwise, I'll just keep playing and hope that everything is okay. <laughs> So now I'm going to choose a combat card. And the way this works in this game is that like the, I have all these combat cards from 0 to 4, but once I played one, it's like Concordia or a lot of other games, once I played one of these cards, I won't get it back until I played all the other ones. Uh, so I don't want to like use my 4 necessarily, because then I might not get it back for a good while. And also some of these cards, like the 4 is, uh, that's, that's basically a 4 attack. Uh, some of these though have a special ability so like this one if I'm attacking all my ships add an extra plus one combat strength like if I'm doing a naval battle uh, Theon if you are defending and it contains a stronghold or a castle the card gets plus one combat strength and a sword and the sword is basically uh, that I can kill someone in the battle they can't retreat in that case so, Balon, the base combat strength of my opponent's house card is reduced to zero. That's really good if I think he will be using a strong card. Uh, Dagmar here has a sword, which is a kill, but also a, a castle, which is or like a tower, which is a protection from one of his swords, maybe, uh, so that I can retreat if need be. And Asha Greyjoy, if I'm not being supported, this card gains two swords and one... Uh, power and this one is good for me now because I'm not being supported right now because I don't have anything adjacent to this like if I had a ship adjacent I could be supported and Aaron Damper is you may spend two power to discard this card and choose a different house card so this is basically just like a, a bluff or like a trick so I can play this one I can see what my opponent is playing and then I can choose what card to play this is a really good one but I think I am going to go with Asha Greyjoy right now and we'll see how it goes. So, can I just click her? Oh, I can drag it. Okay, there we go. So, they're playing uh, Sir Roderick Castle. That's a one. So, I'm beating them, but they do have the castles. So, my two swords means I'm not going to kill anyone. But I can use my steel blade to add a strength. I don't need to though, because I'm already three to two. Uh, that's good actually. We can hover over and see exactly. So my footman is one strength, my knight is two, my march order is minus one, and then Asha added one. And the defender here, Stark, has a footman and the Sir Roderick Castle card. Wow, this game is really fun. I just, you know, starting to remember how fun this game is. <laughs> but I don't need to use my steel blade. I don't think I will be attacked anymore, but I'm, I'm there's no reason to do it. I can save it now. I could uh, Use it uh, later on again, but I'm gonna go no So that's a victory click to continue Now the Starks can retreat so they retreated to the twins because it was like when you retreat you can go to a area that you control or a uncontrolled area. If there is no way for you to retreat, then all of your units die, uh, which is fun if you can manage to do that to someone. And they are recruiting. So now we're in the Westeros phase, and we didn't see it really, but I actually got some power as well because I consolidated power. And I, if you have the consolidated power with the star, then you can recruit, but I don't have any stars. I need to get to having some stars, <laughs> which is why I need the power, so I can use the power as a, a currency when we're voting, that's coming soon. But now we have the Westeros phase, so now it says um, the, th the holder of the Iron Throne chooses one of the following. Everyone updates their supply and then re reconciliates armies. Everyone musters units, it's called muster, not recruit. Or this card has no effect, okay. Then we're going to have um, Clash of Kings. And now we're going to bid power uh, towards the influence track. And the way this bid works is that I can bid my power 
but I will lose it, right? If I remember correctly, I will lose the power that I bid regardless of the outcome. Or is it just a winner that loses their power? No, I think everyone loses the power that they bid. I'm not mistaken. So I don't want to go too heavy into this. On the other hand, it would be nice. Like, first we have the Iron Throne. Which, if I'm not mistaken... That is the turn order, right? Yeah, that's the turn order. And it also breaks ties in these bits. I'm just gonna go for one. Oh! Nobody bit anything, so that's cool. <laughs> so I won. And now I get to pick the um, winner in ties outside of combat, which is really good for the other bits now. Because now we're gonna bid on the sword, which I do have. But somebody is probably going to want to take it from me. Because this determines the uh, ties in combat. And you can use the special ability. I'm going to go for one again. Oh, Sparks went for three. Well, the way this works now is... Now I get to, to decide a tie. So, Starks win with three. Then... Well, it automatically automatically chose me. So I'm in second place with one. Then we have the uh, Martels and the Lannisters. I can choose which one. Oh so yeah, La of course I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, that's good. We'll just go with this. The sad thing is that Stark now has the sword. <laughs> which is bad. But now the, here's the important part. The, the, the King's Court, the, um, the crow here... I really want to get up to, like, right now I'm at 6th spot, so I don't have any star orders. I want to get up here, so I am going to go with 2, I think. As I do break ties, so yeah. Oh, so I actually won it. Okay, so now I have 3 star orders. That was a bit overkill, but okay. And I can also replace an order or view the top card of the upcoming uh, event deck here. Now we're going to have a Wildling attack. So again, that's why I wanted to save some power. Uh, we need to get to 4 to beat them. And if you are the one contributing the most when there's a successful defense, then you get a reward. If you are the one who contributes the least and we fail, then you get a, you know, a punishment. So I'm going to go with 1 here. And uh, Tyrell contributed 2. Uh, I uh, Stork won and I w had won, so we, you know, it was okay. But it was silence at the walls, nothing happens for the high speeders. So at least Tyrell didn't get any reward, which I'm happy for. So now we're into that was the first round. Now we're into the second one, and we keep going until someone has seven castles. Uh, right now, Ortel has two, Tyrell has three, Lannisters has three, and I have two. Okay. So we're going to do the orders again, but now I can use the star orders, which is going to be nice. That's going to help out a bit. I think I want to keep Mount Kaelin if possible. So here, I think I will do a defense plus two. And I can do three star orders, um, since I do have... Um, I, I have access to three. But let's do the defense here. Let's do the um, muster. And then st let's start moving my ships. So over here they have two ships. With total strength of two. Uh, so let's do this one here. And then I have my... I'm gonna do a move here as well. And I think that's good. Now, after everything is revealed now, I can change one order if I need one to because I have the the crow, the messenger raven. But let's see how it looks now. So these guys are going to attack plus zero. And that one can also attack. So they might... Oh, okay, no, but they can't do it at the same time. 
I think Mount Kaelin is okay. I think so. And this one has a support. Yes, yeah, so I I'm, I'm think I'm happy with my... I'm going to look at the top card of the Wildling deck. So I know, like, if I really want to win or, like, contribute to the defense against the Wildlings. And this says... Um... Yeah, okay, so I can choose... Discards all available power. Yeah, I think I'll go with this one, and I don't care about power this time. I'll put this... Okay. So now, the fir first thing that happens is raiding. If you have a raid token, you can burn the uh, support and defense. If it, well, it depends on which one you have. If you have the star raiding, then you can even burn. Um, I think it's attacks, maybe. Um, oh, here we can see secret packs. That's interesting. Baratheon and Lannisters have made a secret pact. I don't know how that works in this uh, game. Or like in the digital game. Like in the physical game you sit around the table talk to each other. <laughs> uh, okay, the Alliance system offers a quick way for players and AI to communicate without the need to type. Okay. Players may request support, warn off threats, make alliances. Hmm. Okay, so March orders. I am going to send my ship uh, out of the port. And again, I put the attack orders on the wrong guy. Ah, oh well. Oh, that's good. Baratheon is attacking Stark as well. Okay, so here... Oh, okay, so Stark's a... Yeah, yeah, okay. Then they attack Baratheon. So it's 2-2-2. Two to two. And they're using the Edda Stark card. Wow. That's good knowledge. Good to know. Starks have used their 4 card. So I need to remember that. Because then I know that that's gone for a while. And they also got rid of the Rob Stark because they have the patch face on the Baratheon. And I see, like, if I click Stark... Yeah, I can see which cards they already use. That's awesome. Okay. And if I click Lannister, they haven't used any cards. Okay. So I'm going to attack Lannisters. I'm going to use both my ships. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to fight here. So I have two to one. So, just in case, I am going to use my Greyjoy here, Victorian, so I get plus one for each ship, and they use the Hound, so they are just defending, basically. So I do win, but they can retreat. Let's muster over here. And since it's a, a stronghold, I get mustering value of 2 so I can pull in a knight or siege engine. Uh, while the castles only do mustering points 1. So I'll just get a knight, I think. So, 
mustering. We can recruit in strongholds and castles. So this time I'm gonna get a ship. And I'm gonna put it in the actual sea. And I'm gonna get another ship. And that one goes into the harbor then. Over here I can get myself either an upgrade or I'm gonna get another footman. They make impacts. Stark and Martels, okay. The Stark are getting strong there, I need to... I'm probably gonna attack the next round. So now, Game of Thrones, we're going to collect power. For each area we control with that power symbol there. I get one. Then... Sea of Storm says that raid orders cannot be played during the planning phase. And th that also adds one little marker there, so it's 2 out of 12 until we get an the next wildling attack. Okay. So, new planning phase. I don't like this. That Stork is getting strong over here. Would like to take that castle, which I think I can. So the way I'm going to do this now is uh, this ship is going to get a support this ship is going to get a weak march uh, this ship is going to consolidate power here we're gonna have a attack, and here we're gonna have a defense. I think that's good. I can always change one order if need be. Plus, I have the the crow, the raven. Okay, so let's see here. They are going to move. Those are also going to move. Uh, that's... Oh, he's going to move there. He's probably going to attack my ships. And he's going to have support from this ship out here. With a plus one. But that's not great. But I have... Yeah, I have support here. I think I'm okay, actually. Yeah. I'm going to look at the top card of the Wildling deck. And I'm just going to keep putting this at the top. Why not? Let's see here. I am going to... I'm going to do this attack first. I'm going to have these guys... Back in here. Oh, I have four to three, but they do have the sword now. I have to remember that. But then I get the support from the ship, so I'm up to six to three, so I'm doing good. Now I'll choose a combat card. I know that they already used their um, good cards, so they could do this, which would get them the, all their cards back. So... I think I'll just do this one. Oh, they did it too. Okay. So I'm winning and I get to kill someone <laughs> because I have the sword. There we go. And the, the rest of them will retreat. I take in another castle. That's good. Baratheon keeps going up here and attacking Stark, which I do like. I should probably do like a... I should do like an alliance with Baratheon. 
think. Wow, Baratheon won that one. Nice. So how do I do that, though? Like... Alliance, Baratheon. Um... Not really sure how I... Oh, request support. Oh, request alliance. Here we go. Yeah, so we made a secret pact. Okay, cool. That's nice. I like the idea of supporting Baratheon, and then I can keep hitting Lannisters and Starks, basically. Lannisters look really strong now, though. Um, okay, so now, fighting... I think I will just go after the ship. I have my support, so I have two to one. And I'll just play I'll just play Bail. No, I'm gonna play this one now. Oh I don't have power tokens. Okay, let's play Balon. There we go. Four to two. So we sunk their ship there. Because I, I don't think they could retreat, that's the thing. Like up here, Stork controls this one, and I control that one, so they didn't have anywhere to go. That's perfect. Fighting going on here in, in the middle of the country, the continent. Um, Lannisters this seems to be doing good. They have four castles now. Okay, so uh, winter is coming, so we're gonna do supply. So I actually have more supply now since I have this one up here. Now I have three. And that's, yeah, so supply determines the amount of armies, which is areas with two or more units. Now I have one with three, one with two, yeah, okay. Now the wildlings attack. But we had Game of Thrones first, which meant I got up to four. I wasn't planning to... Wow. I wasn't planning to really win this one. Because I know what it is. And I don't care for it. <laughs> but now, since I have four, I don't want to lose. Because whoever loses, loses all their power. Uh, they're only a two in strength though, so I think we are going to win. So I'll just I'll just go in with two here. Let's see how that goes. No, Baratheon wins. They get their uh, power back. Oh well. New planning. Okay, so Stark are gone since Baratheon took care of them there. I mean Stark. It's kind of weak right now. I think I need to focus more on Lannisters. So maybe I could take Riveron actually. I think I would try to take Riveron. So let's put a uh, attack order there. 
But also, let's also send in some guys from here. Let's have support from this ship. And from this ship. This one will consolidate power. And this one will be on defense in case. Just in case. These the storks up here decide to attack, so we'll go with that. Wow, this is really cool, this game, actually. Uh, I look forward to playing this with friends, and uh, be on, like, Discord uh, voice chat and so on. Do I need to replace orders? They are going to burn. They are going to consolidate power. Wow, this looks good. I can really do a good attack here. Um, yeah. This looks good right here. Well, that ship is going to move. That one might attack my guy here. I could, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna replace this for defense, just to be sure. He might attack me there. Well, he has to attack me. He's stuck, otherwise. That's some. Some uh, raiding going on. And they didn't have anything to burn. And now we're doing march. Okay, so I'm gonna start by moving my knight over there. I really like the the layout of this game. The, the, it's so easy to get into now. I know the game well, but still, there is a tutorial as well that you can play if you don't know the game. Um, but I mean, the way the everything looks, you can scroll out, you can zoom in and out. An interesting thing is like they can request you can request um, support. Oh no, they're attacking me! Wow, I didn't see that coming. So it's four to two. Oh, okay. Well, they don't have. Stark has already used. They can have the the best they can do is a two. So, if I do a four, but they have the sword. Oh no, they have the sword. So they can do better. I'm gonna do this one to see what they which card they play. They play Riz Bolton. And wow, they're gonna win anyway. Yeah, they're gonna win anyway. Because even if I, I can, because I play my Aryan card, I can spend two power to discard him and choose another card. But even if I put in my four, it's gonna be six to six, and they win ties <laughs> since they have the sword, right? I'm gonna go no. I'm gonna fail this one sadly. Which also means that Storks are picking up their whole hand. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna retreat over here. I'll have to take back Mount Kaelin next turn if possible. I could take it back right away. Instead of attacking the Lannisters. The thing is though, it's a really good time to attack the Lannisters because... I have support from out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to attack the land. Well, I can do both actually. I can move both. I mean, Lannisters has have a strength of one. They do have a march order here, so they could come back. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. I don't think Baratheon will attack me though. So. I'm gonna be risky. I'm gonna take my knight and my footman and I'm gonna go in here. I need to do something about uh, Lannisters. They're up to four castles as well, so. Yeah, so I have four to one and I got the support, so I have six to one. And the, re the real good thing is now if I play uh, Theon here, then. Whatever card is left is the one I will keep, and then I will get all the others back. So I'll play Theon. 
Oh, they're doing Tyrion. Oh no. They can force me to play a different house card. It doesn't seem like they did that though. That would have been terrible. Because then I would have wasted my four. Oh, that's where Baratheon is going. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. They can move over the sea because of the ship, obviously. I'm not paying that much attention to what's going on down in the south. Um, in this game, you're pretty much, you know, I could go over here with some ships and so on, but yeah. They, they can fight it out here. As long as not somebody doesn't get close to winning. Irel looks really strong though. Oh, so Lannisters is going to the south. I kind of like that because they're leaving this area for me. And... Oh, they're doing Sir Gregor Clegane. Three swords. They're just killing off the... Brathens there. I need to keep an eye on this fleet of uh, Tyrell because if they start moving north, I could be in trouble. Mustering. Okay. I like that actually. So. Put in a knight here. I'm gonna put a footman and a ship. I can use these ships as support to support my coast. And another knight. Yeah, uh, this game is really well made, I'll say. Okay, so now we're going to bid. I only have three. Oh, I don't think I care for the throne. I'm not gonna bid on the throne. But I break ties, which is awesome. So I'm in third place even though I didn't bid anything. But now I lost it, so now they pick ties from now on. So the sword, I will try to... It would be nice if I could get ahead of Stark. I'm just gonna do one though. Wow, Baratheon went for seven. <laughs> okay. But I am ahead of Stark, which I do like, because I will be fighting them probably. And they don't have the sword anymore, which is awesome. Okay, here we go. This is the most important one. I hate I hate being in a situation where I can't... At least I have one star, okay. I hate when I don't have any stars. I lost the, the Raven, obviously. And support orders cannot be played in the next planning phase. That's interesting. So no support, which could be a bit tricky for me. But then again, I kind of want to take back Moat Kaelin. And I cannot... Re well, I could get some support here, but yeah. If I'm going to fight, I'm going to attack. I'm going to do an... Defense over here. And this one will just be a raid, I think. That will consolidate power. This guy will do a defense. This one will get power. I cannot do support. So I'll do the main attack from here. And I'll do... Well, why don't I have any stars? Didn't I get one star? Am I confused? Hmm. Wait, where do I see? Here we go. No, no, I didn't get any stars. Oh, that's oh, terrible. Okay, so I'll, here I'll do a... And these ships will just do that. Yeah. 
I mean, in the board game, you place these order tokens face down right, and then everyone reveals, so you, you can bluff and so on. Yeah, okay, so I can raid this guy, which is good. So they... Oh, can I? Oh, I can't do that? Huh, I thought I could... Okay, I can't get the guy in the harbor, that's sad. Let's put on this one. <laughs> Okay, so I need to gather my troops. We're gonna send one from here into there. Oh, I don't have the supply. Because I have so many ships over here. Ah! Oh, that's bad. Dorks only have one card left. Yeah, I think I can win this anyway. I'm gonna attack in here. No, I didn't get... Oh, oh. can I go back? <laughs> I can't go back. I didn't... I just clicked one of the horses. I need to get both my knights in here, otherwise... The, oh, wow. I don't think I can go back. Is there a way to... Is there a way to go back? No, I don't think so. Oh, wow. The funny thing is I think I will win anyway. So I will have six to five. Oh, six to six. And I win ties. But they played the Blackfish, so they don't take any casualties, so they can retreat. Wait, what? Oh, why am I last on the. I don't understand. When we bid, I thought I was. I don't understand this. I'm confused now. Why? I was sure that I got ahead of Stark on the fiefdom track. But obviously I didn't. I, I, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. I thought I was ahead of them. I, I made a mistake. I should have used both my knights and then I would have won. <laughs> and that's gonna... Yeah, it's a learning game. I'm trying this out for the first time, so... It is what it is. Wow. Now I don't have my four either. Um, well, let's move over here. Why not? If a muster comes up, it's not bad to have that area. I have four costs now, but I might be able to get one more as I see it. I I don't know where I will get the other one from. Okay, so supply first of all. 
which is good for me because I have more supply now. And we're going to bid again, but yeah. Okay, so I am going to skip the throne. Uh, and I'm gonna go with two here. Yes. That is awesome. So it's only Martel that is ahead of me, but it doesn't matter because I won't be fighting them anyway. I'm go, gonna go with two here. And that's also good. Because I'm going to be the second place here, so I'm going to have three stars. So yeah, I'm, I'm doing good now. And we cannot play defense orders. Which could be good actually, because then I could be attacking a lot. Because they cannot defend. Okay, so let's focus here on... Let's focus on getting Mount Kaelin back this time then. So I'm going to do the plus one there. Uh, this could be tricky if they attack me here, but I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to muster and here I am going to do a raid. This will must, oh not muster, but they will you know, consolidate. These guys will uh, support for sure. And I'll just support here. And I'll support there. And this one will raid. We'll see how this goes. I think this is a good setup now. They are going to muster in Winterfell. <laughs> They're not, because Baratheon burned them. Oh, that's funny. Wow. And when you burn a star uh, crown, you actually steal one power as well. Oh, okay. They burn me there. That's not good. So I can get rid of this one here, why not? Yeah, there's so there's a lot of, so much strategy going on in this game with all these orders. Yeah. It's interesting. I can't do anything there. Ah, oh, Stark is pulling back. Yeah, I can see that. Well, not pulling back. They're fighting Baratheon. They use their four, which is good for me. And it seems like Baratheon is still going to try to hold on to the north, which is good. I like that they are sort of contesting Stark at the same time as I am. So. And they're also fighting in the south, but they're gonna get beaten by more hell there. They have a lot of support. Lannister sort of left a... Oh, I don't have a march over there. That's interesting, like, I want to take Harrenhal, but I don't want, I, I don't want to take Harrenhal now. I want, to, I want it to be like my 7th castle, I think. Right now I need to take back Moe Kaelin, that's, that's like the first priority here. So now I'm just going to move one. Yeah, I'm just going to move one knight in here. So 
so I think I mean I have so much yeah, yeah I have a lot of support I'm just gonna do this one they can retreat The area is like a neutral place in this setup. I really like the Feast for Crows expansion because then you can play as the area, but... Okay, so let's do the mustering here. And just get another knight. So mustering happens. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know how much... I can bring in though, considering the supply. So I don't think I can muster here, right? No, because of the limit. I can upgrade to a siege. Let's do that. And I can get a ship here. And here I can get a footman and a siege engine. So nothing happens. And then the wildlings are going to attack. And I'm just going to put in my one. I only have one power. So we won. And Lannister gets to move to the top of one. Oh, they moved up, which means they put pushed me down one step as well okay wow okay so much happening I have five castles I'm in the lead but I need two more so is there a way for me to grab two uh, I kind of doubt that I mean I could probably t maybe take Harrenhal but I'm still gonna need one more, and it's not like I can take Winterfell or Lannisport. They actually have extra strength uh, when it's their home city. So what would be my seventh? Maybe White Harbor, but not right now. But like in the future, um, I'm gonna need to move these guys out. Then I will absolutely have support here. Uh, here I'll get power. There I will raid. There I will raid. Probably do. Yeah, I'll probably do the attack from here. I'll do some support. Port. There. This guy can get that. We'll do defense there, and this will do support. I think this will work out. No, oh, he raided my... Hmm. I have nothing I can raid there, sadly. This will be interesting, but I'm actually happy that I'm going last. 
because I can see what the other ones are doing first. I mean, it's not always a good idea to go first, right? Now I can react. Hey, Martin! Yeah, this is really, really well made. It works really good. Uh, you're gonna love this one. Well, I know that you love the game, but I mean, it really works well for a digital version. It's easy to understand what everything's going on. It's easy to see, you can zoom, you can hover over stuff and get information. I really like it. I mean, I haven't played the actual game, the board game in like three years or something, and I'm, I'm just right into it. <laughs> it's so easy. Okay, so Lannisters did an interesting thing here. They actually gave me an opportunity. I was going for Heron Hall, but now they moved out of Lannisport. There's like a small, small chance that I could actually take both Lannisport and Heron Hall, which means I would win. So I am going to gamble. I'm going to go for it. Let's just... I can't go with everyone because I need to keep this place. So let's do the siege engine and a, a knight. Let's move in here. There's a small chance that I can win the game right now. And... 7 to 2. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just do this. They're doing the hounds, so they will be able to survive. But I don't care, I just need to beat them. And yeah. Exactly, like, yeah, I think like I've been playing for an hour now, but I'm getting close to the end. I mean, it would take a lot longer if we were multiplayer and discussing and back and forth. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I mean, against the AI, it's really smooth. I'm gonna take everything I have and just try to take Lannisport. I have my siege engine. I mean, attacking a castle here. I have so much strength. I'll just do my strongest card. Wow. I won the game. That's cool. Nice. And I mean I'm I'm happy that I won. I was playing against the medium AIs, so <laughs> Ray Joy for the win. Nice. Uh this is just a base game. But it works nicely. I mean since you have the AI. So I had eight areas. Fly. Yeah. I'm really happy that I won. I'm also curious to see what these challenges are. Um, so like if I do the this one here, the lion and the wolf. Seems like it's a little bit of a um, story or... Yeah, it's a story. Look at this. Iwin Lannister. That's cool. So I have to conquer the Airy to rescue Tyrion. <laughs> I have to win two battles against the Starks. Wow, this is really cool. I'm gonna be playing this a lot, I think, with all, play all through all these scenarios. Or like challenges. This is really cool. So like, if I do this, then I can go move on to types of battle. And yeah, there's a lot of gaming in here. A lot of things you can do. Now, then of course there is the uh, multiplayer as well. And you can quick play. And create the uh, friend game, so on. And join games. Yeah, wow, this is going to be really fun. I look forward to playing this more. But uh, I think I am going to end the stream though. It's been an hour and I, you know, I beaten the AI on my first try. I'm happy about that. I am happy that I remember so much from the game actually, as I haven't played it in, in years. Uh, there's also a tutorial. You can uh, learn the basics and uh, so on. Like you play this one, then yeah, looks nice. I'm gonna try it out. Why not? And it's good that people can learn that way. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did enjoy playing it, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Of course, maybe I'll do another video of this one. Maybe I'll do a full playthrough of the tutorial up ahead as well. If you are interested in seeing that, tell me in the comment section below. Let me know if you want to see more of Game of Thrones on the channel. 
and you know like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and thank you so much for watching have a great evening morning or whenever you're watching take care bye bye